text, IM, Facebook, Facebook chat, Twitter, and even email. Um, Jake kept saying people as a whole, but this is a, a debate about youth. We're talking about America's youth and how it's harming them, not everyone. Because I'm saying that it could be helpful for adults to connect, but this is for America's youth. Um, I'm, per I'm also pretty sure that eHarmony isn't a site used for youth purposes because it's connecting with local singles, and I don't think youth should be looking for singles at this time. Um, uh, I would agree that it could be you, it, that social networking sites could be useful if and only if it was used correctly, but it's not, and it, and it isn't as safe as you think it is. Um, social networking sites are detrimental to America's youth, even though these sites are by definition helpful and useful, but the way people use them have made them harmful. Teens do not need to connect with people outside of school because that, that is not the main purpose of they use these sites for. <coughs> Alright, as far as the saying people instead of youth, I'm not really sure why social networking sites would be good just for one group and not for the other. It's because youth spends most of the time on the internet and they spend a lot of time. So what's the difference between an 18-year-old that's on Facebook and a 19-year-old, or a 20-year-old and 21? It's really the same thing. And the networks don't harm anyone. And when Becky was talking about the MySpace girls that were killed, this is just an extreme example of what could happen if you don't use it properly. You could also get killed while driving a car. It could be dangerous if you don't do it right, if you're drinking and driving. You could get hurt changing a light bulb. You could get hurt cutting an apple. But just because every once in a while people could get hurt doing these things doesn't mean that we're going to stop driving a car or changing light bulbs and cutting food. And... As far as time spent on the internet, it's probably true that teens and everyone spend too much time on the internet, but that's not because of social networking sites. If the social networking sites weren't there, then they'd spend time on the internet no matter what. It's not that they're on Facebook or outside playing with friends. It's something that they do when they're at their house and they're just sitting around not doing anything. Then they can go on. And I think it's better to be online talking with people, uh, like looking at other people's ideas rather than just sitting in your living room playing a video game. Um, The, um, the affirmative is saying that these sites are harmful, and that means that they're actually hurting people. And even if you don't agree that everyone should have Facebooks, or that MySpace and Twitter are stupid, it doesn't mean that they're physically or emotionally harming people. When we are done with today's debate, Mr. Redekin is going to upload it to YouTube. Then people from all over the world will be able to see it and comment on it. This debate will not end here, but will be a continuous discussion the second it is uploaded to a social networking site. People will be able to watch the arguments presented here today and discuss with others what side they believe in and why they believe that. By just logging on to Facebook, MySpace, or Twitter, Twitter, they log on to thousands of different viewpoints and different ideas. Social networking allows debates like these to forever be discussed and re-debated. Opportuni the opportunities the social networking sites provide outweigh any negatives, and this new form of communication will shape the way of the future interaction and the future interacts and communicates forever. Thank you and vote negative. Um, the only reason I'm saying youth is because youth is, the youth is in the, re the resolution, so I'm focusing on this one group. I'm saying that adults could use this properly, but the youth is being harmed by it. Um, Jake said that there are precaut precautions, but people aren't using them correctly. That is exactly my point. People aren't going to change. We have to, the youth are getting harmed by people's mistakes. And um, my experiment is an example of how 180 people said yes, even though they didn't know who I was. No, 180 people didn't use these precautions. And that's, that's like a lot of people, because I only friended about 200 people, and 180 said yes. Um, Facebook, MySpace, and Chatterlet used the way they are by teens are a waste of time. Again, if used properly, these sites could be useful, but the way they are used is harmful to America's youth. I emphasize youth because we are not talking about people as a whole. Thank you, Brother Farmer. Okay.